Welcome to my Demonia boot review. I have my Rival 307 boot and I'm going to go over what I like, what I don't like, and sadly all the issues that I have experienced with these shoes because there have been a few. So when I got these boots they were second hand. I've worn them to a few metal festivals which is why they look a bit dusty and a little bit dirty. But the boot kind of looks like a more of an industrial rugged type boot anyway so it kind of doesn't look too bad so they feature this zip here which is how you get in and out of the boot on the side they have these crisscross buckles that are just there for aesthetic i've never adjusted them ever and they've got some laces but again i have never touched those the sole doesn't look too bad and there's a nice metal emblem on the bottom it features a very small raised heel the back has this rugged look here as well all in all it looks like a really awesome boot and i used to wear these all the time before i got my new rocks these were the boots that i wore almost every single time i went out something i did really really like about these boots is how flexible they were on the top. Most of the time when you get a very high combat or raised boot, you'll find that the top is very rigid, which is what I cover in my New Rock Boots review as well. It's very rigid, very stiff. You can't really flex your legs much, but in these it's so easy to move around, which is why I loved wearing these to festivals because they were very, very comfortable. They're also easy to get in and out of because of the zip. Although I did have some issues with the zip multiple, multiple times. I did experience a few times where it would just come apart and I'd still be wearing it. And so I'd have to do a little bit of shoe CPR to try and get the zip attached again. The next issue, which is a very big one and makes them unusable and I no longer can wear these boots, is the entire sole has just come undone and I did get these taken to a shoe repair shop as well and they glued them back together and then within a week it just came back undone so the sole is made very very poorly it's barely glued on it breaks my heart because I wore these so often but it just flops around <laughs> this actually happened when I was at Hellfest I noticed every time I took a step it felt like I was stepping down on an extra bit of cushioning it took me like till the whole day to realize that it was because the sole was just sticking and unsticking it was just a little bit at first and then it slowly and slowly got worse they were also second hand and i did used to wear them a lot so i'll give them a positive in that they actually did last me quite a lot of wears and quite a long time it was just a shame because the sole isn't made very well, it's not like New Rock boots where everything is really solid and stuck together, like barely anything's gonna come undone. It's just a real shame. So because of that, I don't really look at Demonia boots too often because I know that a lot of them have issues and a lot of the soles will come undone and they'll just break. They don't sound very reliable and so these are the only Demonia boots I've ever purchased. There are some others that look really cool that I would like to buy, but I think that it's probably best just saving up to buy pairs of new rocks if I'm going to be going for shoes again. And check out my new rock boots review video. I go in depth about why I love them so much. And also there are some issues that I've had as well, so I cover them as well. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.